Well, uh, good morning, everybody. It's uh, September 11th, and 20-year uh, anniversary of 9/11. And uh, anyway, if you're a serviceman, a policeman, a policewoman, or doctor, or nurse, or anything like that, uh, I salute you and uh, thank you for my freedom. Thank you for being heroes. Uh, thank you for the nurses that gave me and my wife the infusion uh, to get us through the COVID. Uh, we had it. Thankfully, we've been vaccinated, so we stayed out of the hospital. But uh, anyway, I'm up here today traveling around the farm, checking up on stuff. I'm going to check my cameras. I'm down here in the creek right now. Looking beautiful. I see some windows swimming in there. I don't know what they are. Saw a big frog jump in there when I started. But anyway, we're just gonna do a little mowing today and a little work up here at the farm. And like I said, right now I'm on my way to check some cameras. So we'll see what we get into. find this one this fall season is about ready to start October 1st is archery season so anyway I'm gonna check this camera and uh, I'll pick you back up later I'm still in the process of checking my cameras and uh, got back here to a little uh, mineral lick that we got back in the woods and was not expecting to see it tore up as much as it was I hope I've got some uh, Good pictures on here or something besides does and fawns but uh, I mean got a trophy rock and a mineral or salt lick but then I also put deer cane in here and they have torn it up I don't know what they're after which one they're after but I did not break this when I put it on there it was dry dirt when I put it on there and they have absolutely torn it up so hopefully I'll get some good pictures we got, this is the last camera I have to check we got them all picked but uh, I thought I'd show you all that because uh, that is not what I was expecting to see when I got back here so I like it, it gives me uh, gives me some pretty good hope all right got most of my chores done today got the my camera's all checked. Got uh, got the yard and the farm mowed, and then I also got a little food plot planted, uh, just to try to get something in before deer season. Like I said, uh, we originally thought we weren't going to put one here because we were going to put a lake in and needed to make up some of the ground in our CRP, but. Now that uh, now that we're not putting a lake in, we can uh, go ahead and put a food plot out here. But anyway, I'll show you my view here. That uh, just sitting in here this evening, waiting to see if uh, anything wants to come out and say hi. And of course, I'm in Dad's stand, so it's my favorite favorite uh, location to ever be. As it says here, 
Um, beware dads killing shit. For those that hadn't seen that before. Anyway, on here a little bit and uh, I'll let you know if anything happens to show up. Alright, good morning y'all. It's the next day, uh, Sunday morning. Uh, God bless all of you. It's a beautiful day. Um, didn't catch anything or didn't see anything last night to video while I was sitting in the stand so I thought I'd come out here this morning to my mom's pond and see if uh, I can catch anything. So far no bites. I didn't bring a chest mount so I don't know if I'll have any catches on video but I'll definitely show you if I get anything but uh, anyway uh, yeah it's a beautiful Sunday morning I hope everybody's doing well uh, and this is the view that God has given me beautiful beautiful absolutely gorgeous sunrise calm still lake uh, everything's just beautiful and uh, Anyway, we'll see if we can catch you some fish. Hope y'all have a great day. Thanks. Well, we're gonna film a couple days later after that last one. Didn't catch any fish the other day. And then today, before I can even tell you what I'm doing, I've already caught a fat fish, which I already showed you. But anyway, uh, the other day, nothing would bite. Today, second cast, we already got a fish. So, uh, we'll see what happens. But uh, anyway, hang tight. I don't have a chest mount for my camera so you're gonna have to go with me showing you the things after I catch them probably but anyway y'all hang around well I didn't have the, uh, the video rolling but uh, fish number one on the old whopper plopper got her done second cast this morning I'm going to find a way to wrap this video up finally. I, hopefully I can figure out a way to make a little short slideshow or something to stick in here of the fish I caught. But it's been a great, great morning just over here at the uh, pond my mom lives on here in this subdivision. Uh, I don't, I didn't even bring a tackle box. I came with three baits or four baits. I didn't even get the other one out. I used three. But the two that I caught them on was a, uh, a white, blue, and chartreuse uh whopper plopper and a blue and black swim jig with a blue crawl trailer and fishing them on one of them on an abu garcia riding reel and the other one on a lose reel on a abu garcia veritas rod and uh man it was deadly this morning i love this place uh, always a good place to come and get some confidence but here i'll turn this around and show you the stuff i was using uh, caught most of them on the swim jig with the loose reel and the Veritas rod. Just tore them up this morning. Let's uh, look at them. There's the, my, that's the two, two lures that did the most damage right there. You can see that, it's an Abu Garcia Max Pro rod and reel there. And then an Abu Garcia uh, Veritas uh, spinning reel is loose. So anyway, uh, just came over to my mom's neighborhood pond and got here right at daybreak and by golly the bite was on this morning so hope y'all enjoy this video of two or three days of fishing hopefully i can figure out how to get like i said them pictures in there but uh, anyway y'all have a great day and i'll uh, see you on the next video